G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a look at HMS Colossus on the new power update for War Thunder. Uh, Colossus is the top tier battleship for Britain. As you can see, she's a little bit better uh, than Dreadnought for one main reason, and that's because the gun layout allows the wing turrets to both be fired at a full broadside, allowing five, five turrets, ten guns. As you can see here, it's laid out in such a way that the wing turrets can be fired through the smokestacks on the hull. Dreadnought has 12, uh, sorry, has 10 12 inch guns. It has 13 4 inch guns and a 76 millimeter gun as well. These guns are used as a secondary role and in anti aircraft, although they're quite poor. It also carries 14 21 inch Mark 1 torpedoes. Uh, with a fairly decent um, arc for, for a single torpedo launch, so it's not too bad. It also does 42 kilometers an hour. Now, as you would expect, Colossus can take a lot of damage. This particular footage here shows that. This battle's been going for a while now, and I've been under fire for quite a while. I've started to lose my modules. My crew has been knocked down considerably. I'm on fire, and I'm flooding. This kind of situation, maybe not surrounded so much as I am here, but the combination of repair uh, is ultimately what will get you killed more than not um, in, in this ship. And it's forced me to learn how to use my uh, fire control, my repairs, and my flooding um, in a more efficient way you see here in this particular instance this is my very first battle in the ship i have fire repair and flooding all switched on for automatic and this is in fact um detrimental um all of these things reduce my reload and they also reduce all my other capabilities right now i'm losing crew because i'm on fire i should have been putting the fire out Secondary, once the fire was out, due to the slow rate of the flooding, I should have been putting flooding out and then doing repair last. But I was doing all of them, which meant I was basically doing nothing but dying. As you can see here in this particular footage, I take four torpedoes on a broadside. This does ultimately kill me. But again, this also comes down to me doing a poor job at fixing the damage as it was happening using um multiple uh multiple repairs but the ship does survive in most cases as any of you that have been in cruisers or destroyers or light boats a single torpedo hit is 99.9% .9 of the time enough to kill you but i survived four torpedo hits then and only survived due to the consequent flooding The next big thing you might ask about is the firepower. Well, at 14 kilometers, you can see here, it only takes 20 seconds for the target to be hit. Um, and I have great zoom, so I can see the target from uh, easily from 14 kilometers range. It makes it quite an easy target to aim for and shoot at. I don't particularly kill this one in this shot, but as you can see, the only thing here was my lead was a little off, but it was quite easy. But when you do hit somebody, they die. Um, if they don't die, they take a lot of damage. You have three rounds to do this. You have a high explosive round, you have a semi armor piercing round, and you have an, a heavy armor piercing round. I tend to prefer the semi armor piercing, which gives you a nice balance of penetration and high explosive, whereas the armor piercing has a higher chance of overpen, um, and I tend to keep that for the big battleships. <clears throat> so in most situations I just use the semi armor piercing round which is very nice and as you can see with a lot of these here that was a crew knocked out shot and most of these are crew knocked out this, this kills a lot of crew this high explosive and if it doesn't kill the crew it destroys a lot of modules or will force rapid flooding more often than not 
if I don't kill with the first shot before the second round's even ready to fire, um, the ship is already 45 degrees in the water and flooded. So these things pack a big punch. And the biggest issue I had was just learning to um, control the ballistics of the rounds. I normally aim with about a 200 meter drop on my British guns. These ones I had to adjust to 150 because I found I was falling a bit short in the water uh, and hitting in front of the target. But as hopefully I've shown you here, the combination of defense and uh, firepower make this a very dangerous vehicle and make it a lot of fun to play. It's a little bit slower. So if speed is what you're looking for, this may not be for you, but I still highly recommend this for everybody to give it a go. If you're wondering if this was fun at all, or whether or not it was worth the grind to get up here, the grind feels a lot better lately. They have improved a lot of the reward and um, RP bonuses for, for these ships now that the trees have changed. And it's a lot easier to get to those top tiers. And it's most definitely worth it. I do look forward to seeing what ships are going to come next. I'm hoping for the battle cruisers. Um, fingers crossed. I do feel pretty confident that that's what we will see next. So, guys, give it a go. Um, if you've got any experience in these ships already yourself, um, please leave some comments below. Uh, <clears throat> if you have any problems with these ships, if you've been dying a lot from them and you don't know what to do leave some comments below um and hopefully i'll see you in the next video have yourselves a great day bye thank you for watching the video please like and subscribe